Hi everyone, it's Kino. Let's take a look at Parsvak Konasana, which is extended side angle posture. This comes on the Ashtanga Yoga standing sequence, but it's one of the most ubiquitous postures in the practice of yoga. Standing at the front of your mat, in the Ashtanga method, we inhale and we step out to the right. You want a nice wide step out to the right, and the feet start off in parallel position. Then you rotate the right foot out. And as you rotate the right foot out, the right heel is aligned with the left arch. That's really important because you don't want it to be over here or too much out to the side. So standing with the feet parallel, you move the right heel to the left arch. Then make sure that you have about one leg distance or perhaps a little bit more between your feet. Then you're going to bend the right knee forward and the knee should be at least over the ankle and you want to go as far down as possible, just not past the toes. Then almost from your inner thighs, you want to really open the inner thighs, find your pelvis, Stretch your arms out to the side, and this looks a lot like warrior two, which is almost what this posture prepares you for. Then you want to bend at your waist, and if you're a beginner, you want to hook the right forearm down, pull the left hip back, left rib cage in, and then roll the left shoulder blade down the back. This is a great test of alignment, so even if you're not a beginner, you can make sure the alignment's nice and established here. Some of the common mistakes in the posture are too much back bend and too much forward bend. We want the body to be straight in the center. So if you're comfortable here, then you can bend the knee forward, bending at the hip joint, take your fingertips to the ground, try not to turn forward or backward, but keep yourself right aligned along the center. You can check yourself, everything inside, Press it here, gaze at the left fingers. Then, if that's comfortable, you can flatten the hand, sucking in the low belly as you do, taking your five breaths. When it's time to come out, you can exit the same way, back to the center, all the way up. You should feel the thigh burning if you stayed for a full five breaths. Let's do the other side, okay? So here we are, inhale. And then as you exhale, externally rotate the left hip joint, send the left knee forward, almost like you're moving through warrior two, then bend, at the left hip joint, we're going to check the side. This is my tighter side, so my alignment might not be as good. You'll have a tighter side and a looser side. Don't give it too much thought, just do your practice. Pull the right hip back, pull the right ribs in, and then roll the right shoulder blade down the back, gazing at the left fingers. Make sure your feet are active so you're pressing into the ground. After a few breaths here, if you're comfortable, you can move deeper. Not comfortable, stay here. Suck in the belly and exhale, sink down to the ground. Another few breaths here, and then you can lower all the way down. Make sure that the pubic bone is sucking inside, the lower belly is drawing in, press weight into the right heel. When it's time to come out, you wanna move through those same points, pick yourself all the way back up, and either return to standing or continue with your practice. This is a really important alignment-based posture. It'll help you find your pelvis, find your pelvic floor, find your legs, and find the whole connection of alignment through your hips in the practice. So take your time and really feel your body from the inside out.